Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Sunday, April the 5th. I sure don't seem like a Sunday. It's 6.36 p.m. And I want to share with you a dream that Marilla had. Um, to me, it sounds prophetic. And you see what you think. Do you get a meaning out of it? Um, when I read it, I think you'll agree. It says, she says, hi family, I dreamed last night a woman whom I know to be a witch in real life was trying to send me to a place dangerous for me. So instead, I was going to another place out of her reach. And then... I dreamed, okay, so this is a separate dream, it uh, sounds like. Okay, or, or it could be, that. put a comment, Morella, and let us know for sure. Is these two separate dreams, or does this mean, and then it went on to say, I dreamed a red dove coming in my room. As I tried to reach it, it flew but it was still around. The dove was entirely blood red. Could it mean war and death is coming and we will not reach it, but it will stay in this world? Um, I really don't know, but I have never heard of a blood red dove if anybody else has, please comment on that, what the significance of that could be. Um, whatever it is, it stays out of our reach. So, and then she said, then I saw this and remembered how after the rapture, people will be killed by wild beasts like crocodiles, etc., invading them. Now, the cute ones, like ducks, I think will get raptured, too. And then she says, much love till soon. Okay, so you think about that, and does that, does that sound prophetic? I mean, if there's, a, I want to say this, Morella, if you, have, if you know this witch in real life, you need to be, doing your spiritual warfare praying and I probably don't even need to tell you this but just to remind remind you she could be trying to send you a spell uh, to get you to try to do something that would be dangerous for you okay in your you know to try to earn money somewhere or somehow that could end up being dangerous just pray about that, okay? Because there's a reason you got a dream about a person you really know to be a real witch. All right? So just remember that. Um, she's trying to send you to a place dangerous to you. All right? So if you get a job offer all of a sudden, be sure you pray about it. Okay. Our brothers and sisters, our, um, our sister Morella did not get much last month. And now it's a whole new month. And she just hangs on month to month. And I'm asking that if you could possibly help her out to make her rent. I don't even know. She did not mention if she even made rent. But she did ask if I would. If I shared the dream, could I please mention um, if anybody could help them out? It would, you know, it would be greatly appreciated. She's the mama in Ecuador with four children. Okay, a single mother with four. Although the father of the two youngest ones has the two youngest ones, the younger ones. She pays him to feed them and clothe them 
and for their daycare needs because he can't work. He is uh, disabled and now he's battling cancer. But so far he's doing pretty good and he's still able to keep them. Which is a huge help to her physically. Not that she wouldn't rather have them of course. She's just too tired. I just don't think they eat well enough. They don't get enough meat. But anyway, the point is, I my, you send it to me. She doesn't have a PayPal, but now she has a friend who has, she has met a Christian lady down there who has a PayPal. So I send it to her. Um... For now, send it to me, and we'll see if she would mind if several, you know, small amounts came in to her instead. And then you would know, I would hope to God that you would know, I send every bit to Morella. I don't keep a bit of what goes to Morella. And I've been just collecting it for her and then sending it. I've been having to wait till we get at least a hundred before I could send it Western Union. She said that you can only get so many a month. I, I didn't really understand that and they had told her the last time she picked up that uh, for now they could not do any more exchanges. And I thought, oh my goodness, this was a couple, three weeks ago, maybe? Probably, something like that. So it probably had to do with the COVID and the banking and the unsurety of, well, are we going to go cashless or not? I don't know. She didn't know. He didn't tell her. Okay, so anyway, now we've got somebody with a PayPal account. So that's really good news. And she, um, I sent it. The last contribution for Morella I sent to that woman and she gave it right, got it right to her. So she's, um, uh, anyway, my account is JLM for him at att.net. It will be in the description box, but I know some of you can't see it. Now please pray about how much you think you could manage and you know the Lord will take care of you if you do help okay I'm going to end this here and I pray that um, she gets her needs met oh I wanted to show you this is one of the shirts my neighbor gave me and it was pretty to start with it had a, everything in this color this what do you call it ecru off-white and I added some color to it, just a little. And then I wrote on this side, live right or get left. I like that. You can write the letters big where it's easy to see. And it makes a good statement. Oh, my air conditioner is out. Oh, that feels good. So I'm using this little fan. Anyway. Bye for now. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection and over each and every one of you and your connections and all our devices and over myself. Okay? And I just pray that Morella gets all that she needs. In Jesus' name, I pray for that. Okay. Bye for now, y'all. Stay safe. All right. And don't forget, wash your hands. Wash those hands and keep six feet away. Yeah, and do the virtual hugs. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. Oh, and I have to declare that no weapon formed against us will prosper. In Jesus' name, I declare it. Okay. Bye for now. Talk to you later.